Hi, welcome back. This is Dara and this is my series on how I set up Notion to keep track of my life workflow. Um, if you're just joining with us, like, hey, we're getting near the end, so I would suggest you go back to the beginning. Everything I've built is related upon each other. Um, it's not just a walkthrough. It is actually me building the space so you can see how I did it, why I did it the way I did it, what my thingy was, etc. So um, for this one, we're going to work on the journal. So again, the journal is just going to be a table um, by itself. It's not going to be on a page. So I'm going to say table full page. I don't know why it keeps wanting to put journalism. Every time I type the word journal on my computer, there must be some autocorrect my nightmare going on. Um, I haven't been adding icons for these, but you know, the same way you can add icon on a page, you can add an icon um, on a table, right? It's still a page. All right, so I'm going to open the journal. And the way that I title my journals is I do them relative to the day. So this is going to be today's journal. Now what's going to happen is even though that's a title, it's still smart enough to see it as a date functionality. So tomorrow this record is going to be called at yesterday and then it's going to be at last Sunday until finally like it's too far away that it's going to be a date. So that's a really cool way to just keep my journal. Um, all right. So, and I, as I said, I use my journal to track the things that I did on that day. So I can say here are the things that I did today. All right, so this table is mostly about pulling things in. The only thing else that I wanna add is the days worked. So even though I do have, um, even though I do have the date in the title, it still sees it as a title field and not a date field. So if I'm trying to do anything date oriented, um, I, I still need to have that date here to make that work. Everything else is going to be related to something else. So remember I said that I wanted to be able to see if I um, worked on a task that day, I want to say that I worked on the task. So this is going to be related to the task table. Okay. And then if I had created a note that day, I want to say that I wrote the note that day. All right, so now um, if we go back in, so here's my today, let's, let's delete these extras. Um, I mean, I can do an at yesterday, right? Okay. Um, oops, you know, this is supposed to be today. today, and this is supposed to be yesterday. All right, so those relationships are created now, but if you remember, when I said that I was going to do the task, I want to show the date it's worked on. Did I do something with projects in the journal? I feel that I did. No did not. Okay, no, it's here. So I want to show the journal is tied on and I want to show the day it worked. So not just the journal. So here we can see like that journal relationship showed up, but I want to do what's called a roll up. So let's go ahead and rename this. So I'm right. I just don't like the related to it just takes up too much space in the column. So I'm going to do what's called a roll up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say relation roll up instead of relationship roll up. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, and then I need to make that relationship. So here I'm going to choose that journal and I'm going to choose the property of day, days worked. I don't need to calculate. So if you're doing something where you have some kind of extreme calculations, I mean, this is how you can do that, right? You can say like, add all these things together. Like there's a really cool video that talks about 
um, how to do like your shopping list with ingredients and they use this roll up property so that as I'm adding in the ingredients, it's going to add up. It says, oh, well, I, I need to have, um, you know, I'm going to make, uh, you know, I don't know, I'm trying to think something about have multiple things. So I'm going to make uh, something where I need to have salt in both the main dish and the side dish. So it's going to say, okay, the main dish, I need, you know, a teaspoon of salt and the side dish is a half teaspoon of salt. So it's going to calculate that out to tell me how many salts, how much salt I need. Okay. But in this case, I'm just doing a simple show original. I'm not going to do any kind of calculations. All right. Okay. So, um, did I tie the notebook here already? I tied the notebook and we just need the month table. So I'm going to, let me take all, let's leave this here. It's just strike throughs. Strike. All right, so later when I do a month table, I'll come back and, and work on that. Um, all right, so that's how it looks from the project standpoint that I've got that relationship. So let's, before I relate them to each other, I'm going to go ahead and put that on the home page. So let's put, first of all, the task list, because now we're getting into how I actually, this is how it becomes for me a automated thing. So I'm going to put a linked and I'm going to create my task. And then the view that I want here is going to be the list view. Uh, the list view is the most like contained view. Create. And I want it to only show me uh, the not the due date, but the worked on date is today, right? So it's just that proposal. Um, let's just add another task real quick. Motion. Video setup create right because I'm gonna have to go back and edit these so that's gonna be a secondary task so the due date I'm, I'm just trying to get this all knocked out today so yeah if you've been watching these videos know that I shot all these videos today and I'll probably take another day or two to, to cut out all the times I went uh, uh or got stuck or tripped over my own tongue or, or what have you <laughs> so hopefully um, these things will be up by Wednesday so the status is in progress. Um, it's related to my uh, personal published goals. And I had, didn't I create a Notion project? I did not create a Notion project. What? Let's create one. Notion, because I know that I'm going to do more than this series. Go ahead while we're at it and say the type is uh, personal. Okay. All right. And um, all right. So, yeah, I said I wanted to work on it today. And that's that. So, um, close that. We can see. So, if I came in the morning, this is what it would have said, like, these are the things that you have to do today. Um, oh, because it's empty. And then I also want to create another task. So this is how I can quickly, as my day goes by, this is how I would be adding um, tasks for myself. And let's say I'm going to work on this on Tuesday. And I want to have all these up. I'm, I'm going to give myself time just in case my life goes crazy between filming and and then. Um, so again, this goes towards uh, personally publish. Now, I mean, that's a thought. Like, would I really put every task or would I just put the project? It depends on what I'm working on. It's better to have it now and then figure that out later. 
All right, so um, now when I save this one, what you'll see is that because I, um, when I first opened it, now because I, uh, I'm not, I put this to be later, it's not gonna show in this list. So you see it's not there, but I, I have no worries because I know that come, what day I say is gonna be on Tuesday? So come Tuesday, um, that's going to show up on my calendar in the morning. First thing is my task to, to be done. So I don't, I don't have to worry. So as I'm adding, I'm saying when I'm going to work on it or, and that's when I, if I know when I'm going to work on it, or I'm doing it within my weekly and, and monthly planning routines. All right. Okay, so let's come back to home. And so here now let's add the journal. Okay. And for the journal, I just really want to see today. I'm going to go ahead and leave the notebook task that it's related to, but I want to see, and I'm going to move notebook to this side because it's going to be more task associated with today than notebook entries. And I'm going to go ahead and say like filter to only show me. So this is where I need the, that date days worked because I couldn't filter on this, but I can filter on this. So, or I could say name contains at today, actually. Yeah, because that's the way they make it so that it's going to change per day. Because if I did it on days work, it's just today and tomorrow, then it's just going to be the 14th. And that thereafter, I actually want to do it on the title, which is the at today. There's something else that I use to, to get to this. All right, so let's come in and let's say like, um, I'm almost done with these videos, but let's go ahead and say like it's done or it's near completion. Actually, let's say I didn't finish. Let's say I'm going to do the last video tomorrow. That's not true, but let's say that's happening. So I've got this work done date. Before I change that, I'm going to go ahead and add my journal entry of today. Okay. And I'm going to change my work on date to be the 15th. Okay. And you'll see now it says the days that I've worked on this is I worked on this the 14th, right? And when I come into my journal, I can see this is what I've done. So let's go back to um, um, my journal because I would have done it when I created the entry, but because I, we did the journal first, I'm going to go just cheat and do it this way. So I'm going to go ahead and um, change that to say journal. And I'm going to add today. All right. So now what I've been able to see, oh, we, I use this closed status just to be a demo. Let's open that back up because that's not closed. And so that just shows you now if I come in to look at today, um, I can see the things that I've worked on. So I can get back to like, if someone's like, well, when, when did you have that? I can say, oh yeah, I worked on that today. Or yeah, we had that meeting and here's the notes. Like if I'm looking at my calendar and I'll be like, oh yeah, we well, went and talked to a client, you know, last Sunday and here are the minutes for that, that meeting. Right. So I can look at through that view. Um, okay. So, you know, so it's building out now. We've already gotten like the task, we've got the inbox, we've got the notebooks, we've got the journal, we've got the mini calendar. So that's the majority of the things that I need for my day to day. Like that's it. But this next one, let's see what we have next. We've got the bill pay and I'm going to do um, something interesting with the bill pay. It's going to be a relational database as well, but I'm also going to show a different view of that table. So you know, be sure to come back and also maybe this will help you in managing your bills. So, you know, come back and see that video and I hope you're enjoying this series. Bye.